Good evening, YouTubers. This is Rusty at Possum Bayou. I'm going to show you what I've done and kind of on my layout in the last week. Hasn't meant a whole lot. And basically, the only thing I've gotten glued down is the road bed that you'll see. The track has been soldered together and is just sitting on top of it. I may in one of my videos kind of show how I do that, but it's real simple. I turn it, kind of turn it upside down, and just sort of just solder the things together and into one big piece. First, I dry fit everything, make sure it's going to fit. Then I assemble it on the workbench and put my, generally I'll try to put most of my jumpers on there or my feeders. Only problem is it tries to sit on top of the feeders or whatever, and it takes a minute to uh, kind of get them laid out. So uh, I've had to add one or two pairs of feeders after that. So and if I get a little place that doesn't run real, real good, then I'll add some feeders in there, even after cleaning the track. All right, so let me show you what I've gotten done now. Okay, YouTubers, here we go. I'm showing over there, got the paper mill in there. I may run that little track a little further back. And I got a few design innovations, wood chip cars there, and some Atlas pulpwood cars. And I think a couple of that. Atlas tank cars there with a little Bachman switcher and I'm kind of getting that little paper mill layout I got a couple of little small buildings to put in there just to give a little bit more industrial stuff going on there I uh, may have a little I'm gonna try to put together let's say some kind of a steel sided building to pull those wood chip cars in kind of a make-believe either rotary tipper or some kind of vacuum system there to pull the wood chips out uh, actually there's two different types of wood chip cars sitting over there. I may one day explain the differences in some of those wood chip cars. I've done a little investigating. I found some interesting things. All right, and go back here. I really don't, I'm gonna put some woods or something over there. Maybe a small non-railroad related business over there, but that's just kind of the feeder track going around that little factor there for the rest of the paper mill. And I've got the track put in here. Like I said, it's not glued down, but all the, the cork is, and it kind of goes back around to the main line and I got the siding here with the main line right there. And I go back, you can see now there's the little yard and everything. I got that little factory sitting there. I'm not real sure if that's what I want sitting there. Can back up a little bit. It kind of looks okay, gives a little bit of interest there. Still thinking about adding something else back there, but I'm not sure. Kind of a run out a little bit of a room. Trying not to have it where the railroad has to trespass on somebody on another industry's property to switch and everything like back over in that corner. But I may put like a put like a, a transfer and storage unit there instead of that little factory and have like a team track going on. And that little yard right here with the four tracks. That's gonna be pretty much kind of a staging area, but it's gonna be more staging and, and moving everything into the little industrial area over here. And I got the, the windows of this little building here somewhere. I basically painted it myself. I can't remember. I used some craft paints and some, and some actually some spray paints, some just rattle can spray paints, just, just different colors. And uh, well, uh, if you see these little windows, they got a little silver to them. And just take like a little chrome, chrome colored pen or or a brush and just kind of get a little bit of that color on there and just barely touch touch the uh, raised up areas on that sheet of plastic and it kind of comes out okay and I still got a little bit of work to do on the front get the doors in this thing and I'll go around I side them here this building here got a little bit of weathering going on with it Kind of look on the other side of it a little bit here. Got a little bit of work. A lot of those rust stains and all, they're, they're decals, by the way. And I got some chalk and, and some washes on there. But that's decals, what you see, the, the bigger rust-looking spots. I'm going to go over. And next week, I'm probably going to go... And trying to figure out something to go in there now that I've cleaned the top of that off. And that's not going to be as industrialized as much. I think I'm going to have like a little town on one end, maybe a couple, 
three or four little industries over there. That's going to be the next thing. And the next thing I'm going to make, I'm going to have to make up something to go in that little corner, a little flip up something on one of these. And I've got some ideas. I'll probably show how I kind of do that once I figure out what I'm going to do so I don't look totally stupid on here. <laughs> Only problem is I've had with putting these switches in with with uh, soldering them. If you're not real careful, you'll overheat these things. And these little areas right here tend to warp or pull out. So you got to be real careful with that. For, I've messed up three or four of those when I was first getting started back again. Now I've kind of got like a little rhythm going where I just basically touch those and go. If you leave that soldering tip on there too long, it'll melt that plastic. But I did find this one microengineering switch over there. Those ties are made out of something totally different than the Atlas ones are. And it's not really even, I don't even think know if it's the same thing that their flex tracks made. It appears to be a little tougher. I don't know if I'd call it Bakelite or whatever it was. It's a little fibrous. It's a little different. But anyway, that's kind of what I've been doing all week. Besides some family things. Just give a little quick run down of this little thing again. I've actually run some, some uh, like I said, some uh, feeders in here. And i got my bus wire going on. I've tested the track. I'm going to have to add a feeder here. Because the way it is, it's just I'm not getting something here. And I'm going to add a feeder right here to make sure I get all that going on. One at the end. I've already got one up this way, but it, for some reason, the locomotive dies right over here. Kind of. But I'm going to put some feeders in right there and go on from there. I think what it is, I don't have it soldered right there. That one, because of where you got to put that iron in there. I don't want to mess that up. But... That's what I kind of got in a nutshell, and maybe next week I'll be able to do that. But I got to order more road bed and track for that over there. I'm flat out of road bed. I got about three, four turnouts left. Let me see what they are. Okay, number five left. And another number five left. And I got about three pieces of flex track, so I'm going to have to order some more track. So get that moving on. I got, like I said, down here, I got a whole plethora of little buildings and such. I don't need to know how I want to use them. All right. So that's about all I got for my layout. So let's just go ahead and get this over with and see what I got next.